Welcome back to wagertalk.com. I'm Marco D'Angelo, joined in studio today by Brian Leonard and Ralph Michaels. We're going to continue our NFL season previews. We're going to do the NFC East this week, guys. And we're going to start off with the team on the top, the Dallas Cowboys. And uh, the Cowboys were surprised last year, 13-3. and Nobody expected that, especially whenever they were led by not one, but two rookies in Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott. Now, obviously, uh, we're taping here in August. Just last week, they handed down the suspension for Elliott. Uh, it sits at six games right now as we speak. He'll be appealing. We don't know what's going to happen with that, if it gets reduced or not. But, guys, I'll start with you, uh, Ralph. The Cowboys, uh, off of last year, do you see them being able to repeat what they did last year? Well, I think they're the best team in the conference. And the Ezekiel Elliott loss to me doesn't mean much. It's the Dallas Cowboys offensive line that gets the running backs to where they are. I mean, I think back, you know, a decade ago, I think back to the Denver Broncos, and they had a different 1,000-yard rusher five out of seven years. So it really is the system and the, and the all-line. So Ezekiel may be worth a, a half point or a point in a game, but as far as everything else goes, don't worry about it, Dallas Cowboy fans. You'll be fine. All right, Brian, now the conventional thinking, Brian, is off of, you know, the rookie season that Dak Prescott had last year, that it would be natural progression this year that he should improve. Do you follow those, you know, conventional thoughts? Well, if he's got Ezekiel Elliott there, and I'm not as worried about Elliott's running as I am with his pass catching. That just gives them something that they don't have without him, one of the best pass catchers out of the backfield in the NFL. Um, one of the reasons I like Dallas is when you take a look at their spending, and I've talked about some other teams in this regard. Last year they ranked first in offensive spending because they had they, or that, uh, they had a backup quarterback because of the injury. So uh, th they were paying two quarterbacks last year. Now they're only paying one quarterback, and they're 17th in offensive spending. So that gives them a lot of chances to go out and get better players and spend a little bit more money there. Um, the only thing I do am somewhat concerned about is Dallas was 7-2 and in one-score games. You would think there would be a little bit of regression there. But to me, Dallas is the best team in this division. And uh, whether Elliott's there or not, it just it's, is going to make a difference. I think he's worth a little bit more than the one, maybe one and a half uh, points to, uh, per game. But um, this, this team is just, they could have a dynasty. As long as, then the reason being, when you have, when you draft a quarterback that's not a first rounder, he doesn't make a lot of money, and he turns out to be your number one quarterback, you're going to get three or four years with good spending in that regard. All right, guys. Well, this one's my pick, and again, I'm going to be the contrarian here, and I'm going to go with the under on the Dallas Cowboys. And the reason for that is, is I kind of was trying to bait you a little bit with the conventional thinking that Prescott should improve this year. Uh, I think that he will improve, but I don't think you're going to, it's going to be as easy for him. One, because now the rest of the league's got a year of game film on him. You know, nobody expected Dak Prescott to be doing what he did last year. And, you know, when you're game planning for him, yeah, you could look at the stuff from college, but you weren't seeing what they were going to do and run in the NFL. And of course, when you have the running game, the way it was working, it definitely helped them. With Elliott out for however many games it is, it's going to put more pressure on uh, Dak Prescott in those first games. But the one thing about this team last year is the defense still was their Achilles heel. But they were able to hide the defense in a lot of the games because of the time of possession battle. If you keep the defense off the field, Obviously, the defensive stats are going to be better. And if Dak Prescott has any regression at all, that defense is going to be on the field longer. And I think that's going to be what's going to keep this under the season win totals. And guys, if you look at this, they're going to play a first place schedule this year. That's something you always talk about, Ralph. You know, they're not going to have the easier schedule. They had the best record in the NFL last year as far as the NFC. And you look at the fact that this is a division up and down. It's seven and a half to nine and a half in season win totals. So these teams, a lot of them are going to knock each other off. I'm going to go with the under nine and a half and go for the little bit of the regression. Yes, they're still the best team in that division, but I don't think they're going to get over the number. I'm taking under nine and a half season win totals for my pick. And guys, don't forget every Friday at Wager Talk for the rest of August. It is Flashback Friday. You can get one play 
at Wager Talk, or excuse me, any play at Wager Talk on Friday for just $7. We're going to be changing the day come football season. We'll have that announcement for you later in the month, but take advantage of it each and every Friday in August. It's Flashback Friday. We'll be back with more here at wagertalk.com.